Hey guys, happy new year! Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a quick and easy way to make a Japanese New Year's dish called Ozoni along with how my family celebrates New Year's Day. We will be needing some dashi, chicken breast cut into small pieces, cooking sake, soy sauce, mochi rice cakes, naruto fish cakes, and mitsuba leaves, which are Japanese parsley. I start by putting about 4 cups of water in a pot on high heat to get it to a boil. So ozoni is a soup dish with vegetables and mochi that is traditionally eaten on New Year's Day. You can put a variety of vegetables like carrots, mushrooms, daikon, radish, etc. But I'm keeping this super simple. The mochi represents longevity due to its stretchy form so it's wishing for a long life. Once the water is boiled, I'm adding the dashi and dissolving it in there. Then the chicken, you can put as much as you'd like. I'm putting in 1 tablespoon of sake and 1 teaspoon of soy sauce. With the mitsuba leaves, I'm cutting the stems and cooking it in with the soup to give it that fragrance and flavor. But I'm gonna save the nice leaves to put at the end when I plate it so that they don't overcook and disappear in the soup. I'm adding the naruto, then put it on low heat so that those don't overcook. I'm also tasting the broth as we go and felt that it needed a little more flavor so I added 2 more teaspoons of sake and 1 teaspoon of soy sauce. When the soup is done, we add the mochi in there. I actually got some homemade mochi which I got from a family friend but you can get some from the store. These homemade ones are softer which means they will soften in the soup faster so I need to keep the heat on low and watch it carefully. They are looking pretty good so I'm going to be plating it now. The mochi will continue to soften in the bowl as you're eating it so keep that in mind while cooking it. I'm just gonna put the nice mitsuba leaves I saved on the side in the bowl to top off the dish and there you have it! This is pretty much the setup for every traditional Japanese meal with the red and white going on. For New Year's, we prepare something called osechi, which are served in these three tier boxes. Osechi foods all have meaning, most of which I've already explained in my 100 days video before, so you can go and check that out if you're interested in the meaning of each food. Another tradition is the drinking of toso. There are three sizes of cups. The toso is poured three times into the cup and we drink it in three sips. We start with the youngest member of the family and then they will pour for the next youngest and so on. I just pretended to have baby Arie drink it and pour it for me after. Toso is usually made with sake or mirin, so it doesn't taste very good. After that's all done, we eat our meal, so here's a cute little clip of Arye eating his snacks, which I attempted to color coordinate with the red and white theme using his white and pink snackies. <laughs> I hope you all had a great New Year's Day. As always, I hope that this video helped you out in any kind of way and I will see you guys next time!